welcome to the vlog. I just finished the last vlog. Welcome to this vlog. Hello. I did something a little different with my hair today. I slept in these overnight rollers last night. These are the overnight blowout by my friend Yesenia. I tried them out and I will say my hair has fallen quite a bit since I took them out because I put a lot of product in it last night. I did like a hair oil and a hair treatment cream situation. So I think it's just kind of like heavy. So it kind of all fell out. If you guys also didn't know, I took all my extensions out. So this is 100% my real hair. Can you see that? I can run my fingers through. No issues. This is all my hair. I've been working really hard to take good care of my hair, use good products on my hair, use heat protect and do all the things. If you guys eventually want like a hair routine or something, let me know because I am so proud of all this hair that I have. I can't believe this is all mine. So last night I tried these out for the first time ever. When I first took them out, you guys, look at this. I did a TikTok this morning of it. You're going to scream. This is what my hair looked like when it came out. Keep in mind again, this is my first time. So I definitely have a learning curve, but this was it just a few hours ago when I woke up. Do you see this? <laughs> it did settle. I need to do like an update. It definitely settled and I decided to go with the side part just because I was feeling it. And I feel like I look like my mother right now. Like I am her spitting image. Yesterday was Monday. I had the most productive day, you guys. I unpacked everything from going to Mammoth, from Vegas. I almost finished the room. I am finishing the room today. That is my main goal of the day. If you guys didn't know, I am in the midst of redoing our bedroom and I'm also doing a whole TikTok series on it. So I'm about to start filming for that. And I want to get that all going. And there's going to be a main channel video for you guys from start to finish of the whole room redo. I haven't shared anything with you guys yet, but about like 90% is done as of last night. The room wasn't finished painting until I got back from Mammoth. And then we left for Vegas the next day. So I really haven't had like a ton of time to, you know, put all the work into it. But I spent so much of yesterday doing that. And then today I'm going to put all the final touches on it. And then I'll show you guys when it's all fully done. And then if you want to see the full, you know, start to finish situation, you can watch it on TikTok and or on my main channel. See you soon. Hello, my loves. It is the next day. Hello, I'm coming at you in the same outfit that I was wearing yesterday. So yes, good morning. I'm currently trying to pin all my hair back. My bangs here are so long now. I'm trying to get them stuck to my head so it looks nice and flat. But yes, I woke up this morning at like 6.30 or so and I had a meeting scheduled for 8 a.m. So I wanted to have enough time to actually wake up so I could be prepped for the meeting and, you know, have my coffee, do all my things before then. Then I got onto my Zoom at like 7.45 and the meeting was rescheduled. So basically I had all morning to just kind of chill, have a really nice slow morning. I just got my hair and makeup done. Oh, yesterday I also, I finished the bedroom, you guys. It is my absolute dream bedroom. I got into bed last night at 9 p.m. just so I could like lay in bed and read and watch TikToks and watch a movie and just like relax in my room, which is what I wanted to do for so long. And we are doing a photo shoot today for main channel assets for cooking with Remy and for my main channel and for my like profile picture and all that kind of stuff. The makeup looks so cute. The hair looks so cute. We did like a little flippy outy ponytail and not having extensions is amazing. Right now I'm just filling in any sparse areas with my color wow. This stuff is awesome. And today it is Valentine's Day, which is such a wonderful day to uh, get glam because now I'm all ready for Cal on my date night tonight. Depending on what time we finish the shoot, which honestly we could probably speed through and finish in a couple hours. I'm either going to do my little Valentine's Day activity for Cal today or potentially tomorrow, but we are going to dinner tonight. And as I said, already glam, ready to go, which is so perfect. Clean up my hands, clean up my little workspace here. And then I'll show you the outfits that I'm wearing for the shoot today, which are are going to be so cute. Let's go. Okay, guys, first look is on. It's so cute. This little set is from For Love and Lemons. It's a really pretty, like, ivory knit with these little baby pink bows. And then I put on this pink cardigan on top. I love it so much. Let's go shoot. Nice because you have more room for, like, oh, yeah, that's like, so cute. Oh, I love that. <gasps> that's so pretty. I love that. Just me and my pepper. And then maybe just holding it. Yeah, there we go. Love that. A little sun ray. Come on, sun. Come on. Come on, sun. Wow. Look at these. The heels in the kitchen. And the kitchen. The heels in the kitchen. So, so cute. I love it. Momo. She <laughs> needs to be song. on camera. She knows. Okay, Momo, you can stay. I mean, she matches the cream yep, vibe, so. Hello, guys. Okay, I am back. I feel like I've done a horrible job at vlogging between yesterday and today. Today was obviously a very full work day. We did the whole photo shoot, and then after that, Whit and I just filmed the room tour, which looks so good. We did it for TikTok and for YouTube. I just ran upstairs. It's 5 
15 on the dot and we need to leave at 5.30, maybe even honestly a little earlier to get to dinner. Meaning I have about 10 minutes to run out the door. So I'm gonna do a little touch up of the makeup and then we need to decide what I'm gonna wear to dinner. I really wanted to take Cal to do the special thing that I had planned for him, but we don't have time to go today because they close while we're at dinner and we're not gonna make it before. So I wanna take him tomorrow and then tonight we're gonna go to dinner and then depending on how we feel after, we don't have plans, but I kind of wanna go to like maybe an arcade like round one or something, but I also kind of want to dress up. Honestly, we didn't really plan very much, but I just walked downstairs after filming and look what I walked down to. How sweet is that? He got me my favorite flowers, which are blue hydrangeas, mixed it with some pink and red roses, some cookies, some chocolate covered strawberries, which I just downed. And I am just the luckiest girly in the world. I love him so much. We've been so busy lately doing fun stuff, obviously like Vegas, but we haven't had any just like quality time us too. So really looking forward to tonight. We're going to Omakase, which if you guys listen to the Pretty Basic Tokyo recap, you know how the last omakase that Cal and I went to went. So hopefully this one goes a little bit better. I have to say, I'm really, 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 really tired today. Last night before bed, I took a bath and I put some like melatonin soak in there. And I think I put way too much because I am so sleepy today. I had a coffee and I drank almost all of an energy drink and I'm still tired, you guys. And I never, ever, ever have that much caffeine. It's a crazy day for me if I drink like more than half of an energy drink. Like truly, I have to be much more careful next time with the uh, melatonin soak. It's gonna be pretty chilly tonight with a high of 57. So I think I should wear something a little bit warmer. I do have a really cute little red sweater dress, but I feel like I might be cold in that still, but it's Valentine's day. I feel like I should wear red or pink. All right, let me go put something on and I'll come back. I'm back. Okay, this is the red sweater dress. It's cute. Momo seems to like it. I'm gonna wear it with these boots. We got some black heeled boots. I'm currently very, very, very pale, so please don't look at my pale legs. How is that? Is that weird? I can't see. I don't know. I think the boots are a little weird, but with the black bag, maybe it's the earrings that are too much. Something about this is not good. I think I want to swap. Let me change the earrings out. Should I wear my cream boots instead of my black boots, maybe? Cal! Yeah. I need your help, babe. <laughs> he said, I trust you, gotta go in two minutes. I think I just don't love the dress, that's the problem. Black accessories or red accessories? Also, I brought out this black coat from Abercrombie. This might be a little too warm, but I've been really into the whole trench vibe lately. Also, this sweater keeps pulling up quite a bit. Do we like this vibe? Is this cute? I hate it. One second. I switched the dress into something that is still cute and sexy for Valentine's Day, but I think fits the vibe a little bit better. So this dress is from White Fox. It's like this really cute little mini dress that has a pink layer of lace underneath and then the black layer of lace on top. I've got the boots on, the same coat, and the same purse. I think this might be a little bit more the vibe and it's also just like a little bit more comfortable underneath and I won't be like tugging down the top the whole night. We do need a perfume. I'm gonna put on some Delina and I'm gonna go. See you guys soon. I'll probably just pick up the vlog tomorrow because I'm gonna spend the night with Cal. Hope you understand. Okay, bye. Hello guys, come along and see what Cal and I ate at our Valentine's Day dinner. I did not get an intro clip, so I only got these clips of us looking bored that I was gonna use for a TikTok later. So these are the intro clips. I promise we were not bored, but this was the menu that they gave us when we went there. It was called Sushi Enya in Beverly Hills and it was absolutely mind-blowingly good. First off, we got some sake, and then they gave us a complimentary champagne with the little strawberry rose. It was so good. That was definitely not my first of the night. And then for the like pre-appetizer, they gave us this beautiful teapot with some soup on the inside. At first, I thought it was just broth, but then when I opened it up, there was a shrimp and a scallop in there, which I was so excited about because I was starving. Then it was the appetizer course, and this was definitely a bit adventurous. There was jellyfish, squid, uh, shoot, I forgot that was called. Hold on, let me, let me, let me look it up. Okay, I can't find the technical name, but it definitely was like some sort of conch in the conch family, perhaps. Here's Cal eating the jellyfish. I feel like he's giving Brittany Broski kombucha girl. Like we were like, is it good? Is it not good? Not sure. Here's me trying the jellyfish. I actually very much liked it. It was much more like rubbery and gelatinous than I was expecting. Here's Cal eating the conch cousin. And we tried a little bit of everything. And then came our first three pieces of sushi. We had some golden eye snapper, some scallop. I think there was like a striped jack there. I had my second cup 
of uh, champagne and Cal put his rose in there so I could have the experience again. This is when I'm getting drunk if you can't tell. Then we moved on to the next course of nigiri which there was, oh my god, this black cod, there was halibut, there was like truffles on everything. It was so delicious. I was absolutely mind blown. I really want more right now. And then we specifically wanted to go to this restaurant because we saw these fries. They are mountain yam, Japanese mountain yam fries and they had truffle on them and they were quite possibly the best fries I've ever had in my entire life. They were so hot and crispy and delicious and just the whole thing tasted like truffle it was so good then we moved on to the tuna course which there was like a lean piece of tuna there was chutoro and then otoro with uh the caviar on top and gold flakes and it just was so fancy we had this japanese egg custard with uni and salmon roe on top i had another glass of champagne i don't remember having this uni if i'm being honest but i mean it looks like i very much enjoyed it that looks that looks good that's a, a face of of pure satisfaction here's cal enjoying his as well then we had this really over-the-top Wagyu course where they pulled it out with all this smoke on top and truffle and then served it with a little cup of sake. It was melt in your mouth like my mouth is salivating right now. I need to swallow as I'm talking to you because it was so good. Roll your eyes back, kind of good. And then last but not least, there was a, a hand roll with a scallop. It had toro, uni, and truffle on top. It was insane. And then we finished with some chocolate cake and that was our dinner. Hello guys. Okay, it is a couple days later. I am up, I am getting ready, and I thought I would check in with you. This is just going to be a very, very chatty vlog because all I've done so far is talk and not do much. But yes, hello. It is a couple days later. And yes, it is now Friday. Yesterday, Cal and I were gonna go do another Valentine's Day activity, but I ended up having the longest work day ever. And after I was finished, I was just so tired. So we just stayed home, ordered in some takeout and watched Love is Blind. We binged it. We finished like half the season last night. And now it is Friday morning and I woke up and I'm honestly not feeling great. I feel as though right now I'm on the precipice of getting sick. Cal started to feel sick last night. So we slept in separate rooms to hopefully avoid it, but I woke up with like a little bit of a scratchy throat But I'm currently getting ready because Lauren and Mia planned a very special birthday Surprise for me. I woke up and I texted them immediately because we're leaving for Lauren's bachelorette in like less than a week And obviously if I get actually sick, I don't want to get her sick before that But Lauren said she feels totally comfortable going still so I am getting ready and we're heading out I will say I feel like I'm at that point right now where if I keep going and I don't rest then I will We'll probably actually get sick. You know, like right when you're at the point where either you can go back down the roller coaster or go up and over the hill. So I just canceled my plans I had for the next couple days, which I'm bummed about because I had so many fun plans planned. But obviously health comes first. Oh, I'm gonna try this new e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. A lot of people talk about this and I've never tried it before. Ooh, okay. It's sticky, can you see that? It's sticky. Oh my God, it smells like watermelons. The plans for this weekend were gonna be so much fun. Tonight, Alicia and I were gonna go to dinner with the 20 whatever girls, which I haven't met Ryan and Paloma in real life yet. So I was so excited about that. And then tomorrow we were supposed to be on the Plan Brie podcast, which is also gonna be so much fun. And then I had a birthday dinner scheduled for tomorrow night. But as I said, I just wanna take care of myself. We are leaving on The Bachelorette in like less than a week. So I wanna make sure I'm nice and healthy for that. So we're gonna have a really low key weekend. Nothing's really gonna be happening. I'm gonna watch uh, Love is Blind and that is it. And I still need to take Cal on his little Valentine's Day adventure that I planned. But it appears those plans will have to wait until we're 100% better. But yes, I'm getting ready. I was told by the girlies that it's going to be an indoor slash outdoor activity and to dress casually. So I think I'm just gonna wear like a sweatshirt, just put a headband in my hair. I've been very into headbands, do a little light makeup and they should be here in like 15 minutes or so. So I'm just gonna speed through this and I'll show you guys the outfit before they come. I'm back. I look like I have a mustache. I am very into this new product. I vlogged at the worst possible time, hold on. I will say I have not tried this shade and it is quite black, but this is, it's called the Lip Liner Stain. I bought a pack of three from Ulta. This is in the color Hazel. This is pinked. And then I have this one here that I did the other day called Mauve. I really like them. You basically like put it on. It feels really thick and tacky. I don't like the feeling of it right now, but oh no, I just ruined it. I don't think I was supposed to touch my lips together. Hold on, gotta try and fix it. Please hold. Uh, I really might have ruined it. Let me let it dry, I'll come back on it. I'm back, I changed into the clothes that I'm gonna wear today. So this stuff, you probably saw it on TikTok. You put it on your lips and then you can do it as liner or like across your whole lips. 
And then you pull it off. Oh, that was a bit dark. That is all right. Completely heals off the lip and on chunk. How crazy is that? The hazel shade was a bit dark. I'm gonna try and wipe some of it off and it looks a tad bit crusty. I do like the color that it adds. I'm gonna put a little lippy gloss on top, a little recurl of the lashes, a little more bottom lash mascara. I'm gonna do a little more blush too, just to balance out the darker brown lip that I have. Honestly, I kind of love this lip color. That's really pretty. Here's the fit for the day. They said comfy, so I'm wearing my merch. I've just got a little black white fox tank top on underneath, leggings, little slouchy socks from Amazon. I'm gonna wear my Ugg boots and let's go. I'm with my girlies. Look what I'm talking about. What's it called? Cappy cat? Cap cat. Brooklyn Charm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're at Brooklyn Charm. We're in Ventura? Yeah. You guys. Also, it's empty. Oh my god, we're gonna have ample time to choose our beads. We're making friendship bracelets. Is it bracelets, right? Yeah, or necklaces. We're necklaces. Charms. Ah, thank you guys so much. Guys, like, this place went viral on TikTok and you can just make your own bracelets and necklaces. This is so cool. What a fun idea. Oh, look at the little rocks. Oh my God, the cats. That is really cute. Guys, look at this. Oh, they've got little like white claws. <laughs> little That's charmies. So the Cheetos. Oh, I want to make something so fun. We have to pick our first bead and that's going to decipher what we want to do. Is this a lychee? Oh my god, I think it's a little, or maybe a peach. This is so cute. Oh, I love it. I kind of want to make like a food food one. The ramen, the sriracha. You have to wear it on cooking. I will, every episode. <laughs> oh my god, this one's so you. This barbed wire heart. Oh, a little flame heart. So many different options. We've got like colored beads. Here is my vibe. Here's my final little bracelet i love her hi guys good morning it is the next day it's actually definitely not morning it is 1 34 p.m good afternoon yesterday was so much fun i have to show you my bracelet it turned out so cute here it is all done it's adorable so we did for the charms a little c for cal or for cruise depending on you know what i'm feeling that day a little baby pink ace we've got a little uh, angel number 777 baby blue heart a little magic eight ball a little silver gummy bear, a little cookbook, which is just like so specific, but so cute. And then a little amethyst, because as we know, I'm a February baby and amethyst is my birthstone. So that was so much fun after we made the jewelry and while we waited for them to put all the charms on, Mia and Lauren took me to lunch. We had a delicious lunch and then we picked up the jewelry, shopped around a little bit and then came back home. Yesterday I got back and Cal and I watched a little more of Love is Blind. And then what else did we do, babe? We just like laid on the couch. We watched, oh, we we watched Scott Pilgrim versus the world and then I went and laid in bed did some reading and now it's the next day I'm feeling okay I woke up definitely with still a sore throat but I slept in as late as I possibly could I woke up at like 11 30 this morning I canceled my whole weekend plans to ensure that I get better by Monday and I'm feeling better right now but I definitely just want to take it slow and relax and just chill the rest of the weekend to hopefully be better but yes before we get into that let's all five sips of water Ah, we have not been grocery shopping since all of our traveling. So I just placed a grocery order and I'll show you guys the stuff that we got. Mr. Cal is still very sick, right, Mr. Cal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank God I feel better. Because when I'm sick, Cal takes care of me. And when he's sick, I take care of him. Oh, my baby. And I got some stuff to make lunch and also just have groceries. I already put some of the stuff away, like the eggs, some dairy stuff, milk, those things. These are my favorite chips ever. I will say they're definitely an acquired taste. They're like a healthier chip, if you will. They're made out of chicken, but I just like the taste of them so much. And they also have a good amount of protein. So I got buffalo. I got two of the Himalayan pink salt because that one's my favorite. They also just came out with spicy queso. I've never tried this one and Cal's a queso guy, so thought he'd like that. And then I also got barbecue, which I haven't tried the barbecue yet. So these are my snackies also. Ooh, we got crackers, bananas. I ordered from two different stores. These little sweet peppers because I'm gonna do some cooking probably today. I wanna make little egg cups. Murph sent me a voice memo the other day. Whenever we try like a recipe that we love, we'll just like voice memo each other and be like, you have to try this recipe. It's so good. And he made these like protein egg cups for breakfast, um, like a sous vide style. And I really wanna make them. And he said that inside he put like sausage and peppers, onions, all those things. So over there I have some onions, some avocados, some lemons, and some tomatoes. And then from this grocery 
grocery store, I really been wanting to make Rice Krispie treats. So I got some Rice Krispies as well as a bag of marshmallows and then butter. That's all you need. I have the butter in the fridge already. So I'm gonna make those later. And then I was really craving a sandwich and I really specifically wanted a honey mustard sandwich or like honey mustard on my sandwich. So I bought this honey mustard. Never tried this brand before, but got honey mustard. I'm gonna make myself a sandwich for lunch. We've got Italian wedding soup. I love Italian wedding soup so much. The Rao's brand, Rao's brand is so good and it comes in this jar and it's nice that you can reuse the jar after. Also for the sandwich, I got some lettuce, crispy lettuce. We also got some lunch meat because again, I wanted to make my sandwich. So I got oven roasted chicken breast. We got some oven roasted turkey breast. And then I asked Cal if he wanted a grilled cheese and tomato soup and he said, yes, that sounds so good. So I got some creamy tomato soup. I also got some cheese to make him a grilled cheese. This is Tillamook shark cheddar. I got some chicken noodle soup because that's always good to have on hand when anybody is feeling sick. And then just some turkey pepperoni because I've been craving pepperoni. So that's everything that I grabbed. That should definitely tide us over for quite some time. Yesterday for dinner, I made us one of my favorite things growing up that my mom would make me when I was sick, which is just plain chicken ramen. This brand and this color is like exactly what my mom would make. And she would just crush it up into tiny little pieces. And then I just made that with some eggs inside, almost like an egg flour soupy kind of texture. And it's so good when you're feeling unwell. So let me get cooking on this grilled cheese for Mr. Cal and heat up the soup. And I'll keep you guys posted along the way with all my cooking. Lunch is ready, babe. Grilled cheese, tomato soup. This looks amazing, Rob. I hope you like it. I hope you should feel better. You want some tea? I'm okay, thank you. Have you had enough water today? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's amazing. What'd you say? It's so good. Yay, I'm glad. Okay, now my lunch is done. This is, you guys saw, bread, honey mustard, mayo, salt, pepper, cucumber, tomato, avocado, onion, and chicken breast. This is like my favorite sandwich ever. Honestly, I would prefer to not have chicken. Like I love a veggie sandwich, but I feel as though I need some protein. So here we go. Mmm, that honey mustard is so good. This bread is so crunchy. Sandwich was amazing. That honey mustard is so good. Now I'm making Rice Krispie treats, which in case you did not know, I'm sure we all know though, the Rice Krispie recipe is on the side of the box of the Rice Krispies. And all it is is three tablespoons of butter, one bag of marshmallows, and then six cups of the Rice Krispies. You just melt the butter and the marshmallows together. I also added a little bit of uh, vanilla extract. I'm gonna do a little salt too to really bring the flavors out. We're going crazy. Just a little dash of salt and then once it's all melted i can remove it from the heat it smells so good i kind of browned the butter a bit too to make the flavor a little bit more unique oh my god guys i have to get better by tuesday because i got invited to the beyonce hair event so i absolutely must be healthy for that okay Ooh, it looks so good look at this yes nice and gooey and then now we just need six cups of the cereal one two Three, four, five, six. I did make a little bit of a mess. I'll vacuum that up later. And then we mix it all together. Oh my goodness. There we go. She looks beautiful. Now I'm gonna spoon it out into a greased little baking pan. I'm doing a nine by nine. How? Yeah. Do you want to lick the Rice Krispie spoon? I'm okay, right okay. You. you're welcome. I just had to offer because you're sick, but I really wanted it myself. I it. <laughs> Here's our Rice Krispies. I like to not press them down. I want them to be airy and not like super condensed. I let gravity do its job and I'm going to let these come to room temp and then we'll slice them up. Hello everybody. It is now, what time is it? 7.52 p.m. I'm watching a Miss Kim Tai vlog and I'm having a really wild Saturday night. My hair is so greasy, so I was gonna take a shower, but I figured if I was gonna take a shower, I might as well take a bath first because I love a bath. I'm about to start this 
new book called Chase Me by Tessa Bailey. Everybody likes her books. I don't know if I've read a Tessa Bailey book yet. Every Summer After, is that Tessa Bailey? If so, I have. If not, I think this is my first Tessa Bailey book, but I'm about to read this tonight. I'm drawing the bath behind me. I'll show you guys the bedroom tonight. The first vlog reveal. I love it during the day, and I'll show you in the morning in the next vlog, but I think I love it even more at night, believe it or not. The bath water has been drawn. Gotta pick a little bath bomb situation. What do we have here? You guys know I'm a lush girly through and through. This one was from their Valentine's Day collection and there was like a little spot to write little love letters. You could put it in the bath bomb. So cute. Shall we lower her? One, two, three. Woo! <gasps> So beautiful. The water is drawn, now it's much more quiet. We've got my little bath seat situation set up. I'm gonna light my candle. Ollie got me this one. It's a Lazy Sunday Morning by Replica. Oh, you know what? I think there's water in there. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so that's a no. Okay, I'm gonna take a nice long bath. I'm feeling much better. I really think I might be able to kick this whole thing. Poor Cal is not doing nearly as well though. And we've been sleeping separately in hopes of not getting me sicker. And I think it might be working out. Hopefully, knock on wood. All right, I'm gonna read my book. Ooh, should I put like a face mask on? Oh my goodness, let's go full lux. Should I do this one? Oh, or I could do this one. I've got so many options. I'm gonna do the Innisfree Pore Clearing Mask. I've never tried her. Anytime I use Innisfree, I just think of Wanyang, a queen, an icon. Ooh, I love it. What a fun little Saturday night. You know what I'm also gonna do? I'm gonna add in a spoonful of the Dr. Teal's Melatonin Sleep Soak into my bathtub because since I slept in so late today, I just don't wanna be up all night long. I will say the other night I did three scoops of this because I just wasn't thinking and I was so tired the next day. So just one scoop it is and to the bathtub I go. Okay guys, we're all nice and clean. I took a bath, then jumped in the shower, did an everything shower did my skincare, my hair is up in a mask. I've got my pajamas on now and I wanna show you the bedroom. I'm so happy with it. Three, two, one. Guys, this is the bedroom. I am absolutely in love with it. It looks similar to the room before, but also completely different. Again, if you wanna watch the full in-depth room tour, you can go over to my main channel. Also, Daisy is currently sitting here on the pillows. She sat here while I took my bath because she follows me everywhere. Hello, my princess. Also, you might be wondering, Remy, why is the artwork all rippled right there? And that is because both of the paintings came incredibly damaged. So new ones are coming, but I wanted to hang them up for now just to get like the nails in place so when the new ones come in, I can just right on top. But yes, okay, I only have the lamps on like ever so slightly right now. Let me turn them on for real. Here's the room with the lights on. It looks so beautiful. I've got the candle burning. I've been seriously getting into bed every night at like 8.30 to like 10 p.m. just to lay in bed and maybe I'll watch like a movie or TV or I'll read. It looks so beautiful and I love all the neutral tones. The paint turned out absolutely beautiful. The curtains just changed the entire vibe of the room. And a lot of the furniture is the same stuff I had before. Let me turn off the lights again to give the vibe. There we go. I love the cozy vibe at night. I love these lights on the walls. And the coolest part of the room that Cal added, which I think just takes it to the next level, is over here we have this little remote control on the wall. And if I click it, there are lights all around the floor that add to the complete ambiance. And I can also, if I just run my finger here, change the colors of the lights all throughout the rainbow. So we got like orange, red, yellow, green, blue. You can also make them dimmer or more bright. I've been doing the pink. I just love the like soft hue vibe that it adds to the room. And I seriously could not be happier with it. So on that note, guys, I'm gonna get into bed. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna cuddle with my pup and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Here is another view of the room from the mirror. Here we go. Love you. Bye.